What's my favorite prayer? Given that the vast majority of the 150 Psalms in the Old Testament are prayers, not to mention the many other prayers found throughout the pages of the Bible, that's a very hard question to answer. But I'd like to share with you one prayer from the New Testament. One day, some of Jesus' followers asked him how they should pray. Jesus then responded by setting before them a model prayer, which is commonly known as the Lord's Prayer. Jesus said, In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is one of my favorite prayers. In its six petitions, we find a comprehensive pattern that teach us what to pray for and what to prioritize when praying. And we need such a pattern. Without it, our prayers tend to focus on ourselves and the things we want. But in this model prayer, Jesus teaches us to start by getting our eyes off of ourselves and direct them to God and the honoring of his name, the advancement of his kingdom, and the accomplishing of his will. Then, and only then, do we move on to pray for our needs and the needs of those around us. And this model prayer concludes with a Godward focus in which my faith and confidence is bolstered by the confession that all power and glory belong to God, whose kingdom is creation-wide. May your prayers be modeled after this prayer that Jesus taught his followers to pray.